1,500 kids in Colorado who don't know where they will sleep tonight. Yeah, they go to school, they hang out with their friends, and they hide the fact that they live on the streets. A Colorado Springs group hopes a night out in the cold will make a difference. Garrity News Channel 13's Emily Allen joins us live from Urban Peaks Night Out. And Emily, there are certain restrictions on what those teens are allowed to bring with them tonight. Yeah, that's right, James and Heather. No one out here is allowed to have a tent. They're only allowed to sleep with these cardboard boxes and sleeping bags. Now, this is just a small sample of what life is like for youth who do this every day. Every day, they wait for a place to sleep and for a better life. I live one day at a time. Uriah McMurray was first on the streets at 14. But I didn't really want it to be known, so I mean, we just really didn't talk about it. And for David Wynn, he was 16, too embarrassed and too proud to tell his high school classmates he needed help. The fact that sometimes I didn't have a, I wasn't able to shower. Um, Hiding the fact that I started to smell it a lot like musk. It's estimated there are about 100 homeless youth here on the streets in El Paso County, but many believe that number is much higher because youth don't want to report that they are homeless. Wayne Bland wants to help people like David and Uriah, so he's sleeping outside for a second year to raise money and awareness. Last year I was in a box and you could hear cars drive by and you thought, are they driving through the parking lot? You, you kind of lose your perspective of, of distance and that sort of thing. Are they going to run over people? But Bland knows it's only a small slice of the struggles they face. I've got high tech camping equipment, you know, and the youth don't have that at all. For David and Uriah, this is reality. But they hope it doesn't have to be for others or for them someday. So far, this group has raised $26,000 for Urban Peak. Everyone out here is going to try and brave the cold until 6 a.m., and we're going to try and check back with them here on Good Morning Colorado. In Colorado Springs, Emily Allen, KRDO News Channel 13.